so if you already have a pulse oximeter you may be wondering how to use it. The best part of pulse oximetry is that it's non-invasive. Back in the day, doctors had to draw blood from the patient and perform several tests in order to find out the percentage of oxygen saturation. Now we can get that reading in a matter of seconds by using a pulse oximeter. All you have to do is clip the device on the middle finger or on a toe or even on an earlobe. Some models are even surface probes that can attach to the patient's forehead or even their chest. And once the device is attached and turned on, it will provide you with the readings in a matter of seconds. But to get reliable, realistic readings, you should try to minimize the patient's movement as much as possible. And also, if you're using a fingertip pulse oximeter, make sure that you're not wearing any nail polish if you're using it on yourself, or if you're a medical professional, make sure that the patient does not have on any nail polish as well. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel. Also, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other resources that I think you will enjoy. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video, and you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.